adjacent ceilings with Ceilings and Company and Granite Homes. So I was uh, approached by one of the teachers at Perry County High School that we had moved a home before. They uh, originally called me to asking me, uh, you know, if I could assist in helping them uh, transport the home once it was built. So I actually went down to the school and, and uh, they had just started the project and building the floor system and I stopped by just to kind of check it out and see what, what they were doing and what we could do to you know, to help out throughout the process. So once I found out about this project, I got really excited. And uh, the first thing I did was contact manufacturedhomes.com to see if they could get involved in it and do some video of it or something because I thought the process should be documented. Then I contacted the Kentucky Association to get to see what they could do to get involved, as well as uh, contacted some of my manufacturers that we handle to see what they could, you know, possibly donate some material or, or help out some as well. Hi, my name is Logan Haynes. I'm the Executive Director of the Kentucky Manufactured Housing Institute. So a state association is a collective group of uh, different industry professionals, different companies that come together and really join forces uh, to advocate for an industry, to advocate for change, uh, to educate, uh, to uh, come together to network. And so it's, it's my responsibility as staff of this association uh, is to ensure that all those things happen fluidly. So what Perry Central is doing is, is nothing short of amazing. You know, I, I come from a background, I was a trade school kid, you know, I was in carpentry class and, and you know, that was, that was the best part of high school uh, to me was, was my shot. I still have a great relationship with my carpentry teacher to this day uh, and give him credit for so much of what I've done throughout my, my professional career. And so to see what Perry Central is doing you know, it gives me, you know, the warm fuzzies inside, if you will, because, you know, not only are they doing something great with Habitat for Humanity, they're also learning a, a trade. Uh, and, you know, specifically with, with modular housing and, and manufactured housing, it's a trade that's often overlooked. Uh, and so to watch them learn about what it is we do inside of our industry and how it can be something that's real and tangible for them uh, is, is really neat. Today we received our lumber for the walls and now we're going to get started framing the walls and that'll be our first step this year. You're going to pull off this outside corner right there. Okay. I think it's, well you got to look at this, yeah, so right yeah. here. So we need to orient this to where you're looking, like that. Oh yeah, you're looking four inches, 17 inch way, correct? Yep. 17. Looks good. So now, right door in there? Yeah, or the window. Door, or, yeah, window. Don't put door. Window. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you window. Window. Yeah. yeah, window, arrows, and then write the actual size of it. So okay. it's just your 34 by 56. Sure. What's going on? It's Lucas. We're vlogging today. We got the house going. This is day one of vlogging. All right, so you think the crown is point, point in this direction. One, this way. So, majority think it's pointing here. Who thinks it's pointing here? Uh. You're the only one that's right. What the? Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, so the crown is the arch. So if you're looking at that arch, it's up. That's the crown. It's pointing up. Cross. You need to have that one marked as well because we got transferred on the top. No. Yep. So that one's going to sit on this side. Yep. So, go ahead and kneel down, get in position. 
I like to put some weight of my knee on the it, the studs, keep from bouncing. Yep. So I'll come down about three quarters of an inch from the top of the plate. Go ahead and start my nail. Yep. And you want it to where it's just barely poking through. Okay. I'm gonna do my bottom nail as well, about three quarter up. And you start your middle nail if you want to now. Okay, so now when we're doing this, I'm gonna put my weight now on the plate. Finish that nail up. Watching my marks. Just like that. One of the benefits of building the home in, in the shop is obviously um, time. When you're working with students, um, you know, you wanna push them and you're on obviously on a time crunch, but the goal is for them to learn and pick up skills. It's not, the, the big goal is not to get the house built on time. It's the students learn. And in the past, you know, we, we would do it slowly and make sure they learn correctly. And then your subfloor would get rained on. And then you get, you know, you get moisture in your crawl space under the subfloor. So yeah, and then wood swells, obviously, when it gets wet. So yeah, the, the controlled environment is gonna be a huge benefit to us. The wood's never gonna get wet. We're never gonna have rain outs. We're never gonna have um, ice on the roof for the students to be able to work on. So working in a controlled environment is gonna be a huge benefit. And it's actually gonna speed us up in, from what I've done in the past. I think it will get the house done at a faster pace. My favorite thing about this class is instead of just like being in a base learning class like where you have to sit down and learn everything, you are actually more interactive with things and you're just like, and you actually have to put some teamwork in and like work with others around you. I'm kind of excited to learn how to build a house. Well, I live on a farm so I kind of work hands on a lot. So learning how to do all the plumbing and stuff like that, it's gonna be cool this year. I think once we get the walls up and going, we'll move a little bit faster and hopefully we'll get the house built and put up. Um, this class is really hands-on and you know there might be some other hands-on classes but none of them you know because you, you get to work with like your peers and stuff and you got to be coordinated and you got to really listen and pay attention and you know you can't just horse around you gotta you gotta really lock in for it it's like one of those things you take more serious <laughs> so I missed every single <laughs> So I missed that whole spot. Oh my god. idea of what I want to do when I'm older and construction is part of it I kind of want to be a contractor work on excavation and stuff like that and I thought it'd be cool to take this class and get some credits and stuff if I want to go to college and yeah I thought it'd just be a good experience to learn how to do this uh, I've been taking construction since seventh grade after I graduate I'm gonna pursue uh, probably construction or be an electrician Oh, yeah. Tilt it back, tilt it 
One of the things that we are striving for at Perry Central is to start student-run businesses. Uh, in our manufacturing program, we have Commodore Manufacturing, and our students are vendors for local manufacturers, and they get paid to come to school every day. They operate the whole facility, they take care of invoicing, they take care of logistics, and then they do all of the work. So we're creating opportunities for students to gain those experiences while they're at school. And this project really comes on the heel of our Commodore manufacturing. Um, we, we coin it as Commodore construction with the same idea that we can mimic uh, the workplace here in our school facility because we are so rural and provide students with opportunities to learn how to gain money and those skills and hopefully connect with our partners in finding career opportunities in the future. Oh, I think it's fantastic to get um, to get students involved in in one of the biggest crises we have in America today. You know, with affordable housing. So I think it's it's very unique to have them go through the whole process of of building a house and uh, seeing what that's going to mean for the end customer. I think with the skills that these young students will learn at Perry from this program will really serve them well and serve also as a, um, a template for other schools on how their students can be ready for life right out of school. The ability to affect family trees is amazing and that's what a home does. Um, a home is, is, you know, everybody remembers their grandparents' house, their parents' house, their first house. Uh, and, and that trickles down through the family for generations. And so these students are going to be able to hopefully not just learn how to use a hammer and a saw, but see the impact that they're having from generation to generation.